An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the golden worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eel. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. I just Where's became Pathfinder. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Something wrong? Yeah, I can't hear. You see me and Sam on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No. I'm fine. Just a headache. The hell's that? Why do you have this open in front of a fucking... You guys are idiots. Addison, Kesh, and Tan. You're Tan, right? Ryder, you may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Any idea where they went? Nothing certain, but tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? You told me to come talk to you. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No. And that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. Oh. But before departure Orions. in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. On the Korean ship. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. Let's go find them first. Fuck everyone else. Sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you it's... It's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative... Why does your GM crotch Garden have a gray spot? Is dead. It's kind of bothering me. How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Candros mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles. We called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Eh. 
Who is this Sloan Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen. Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. It's a lot of talking. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. Hey. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle. Nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Yo, yeah, what the fuck? Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Uh huh. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. Uh, uh, okay, I'm not gonna do these, sorry. That's, it's been a lot of dialogue so far. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here, or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. Yeah, you could try. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management. Then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. An accountant? So... Oh, hey. An accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative. And saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on New World, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. Okay. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. Oh boy. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads. And you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on site can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repair, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every call effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. Great. Good talk. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course. As you pointed out, we need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success. Damn. I guess... <laughs> I guess this is gonna be a lot of talking in here. Oh, shit! Shout of surprise and pain. Speak with Sam and the Hyperion. Oh, this is added. I don't care to talk to you. I thought I could talk to the Krogan. Where is she? Oh, why the fuck are you in here all alone? What the fuck? Okay. 
There you are. Hi. Uh, the others haven't been giving you a hard time. Kind of. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. Look. It's a lot. I notice there aren't a lot of Krogan around. Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots defended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Jian Garson, was killed. Okay, oh, okay, I know, I know, okay. Oh, uh, what the hell is this? When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right, the Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survived. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Give the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%. Which is a lot better than what we have. Zero percent. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. And one more thing. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Okay. I think I talk to everyone, for except now. for that Later. bitch up top. Except for that bitch up top. Don't really care to talk to her at all. That was quite a bit of talking though. Where do I go? Here? What do you need help with? Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening, but not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry. And we also have one in front of a bush. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I'm You're talking pretty loud. They can hear you. Sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during Yeah, the you're just talking to me nonchalantly. Do you, if, if you have time, maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. 
Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that would really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Oh no, they do call it Omni tool. When you're done. Okay. So. Uh, is it this thing on the map? Is that Turian in jail? Oh, okay, I guess I, yeah, the other quest is here. But where's the, uh, yeah, this? No. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where this guy wants me to scan stuff at. Oh, yeah, what about back in here? Yeah, this thing, right? Yeah, in front of the fucking bush. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Oh. Oh, shit. It's up top somewhere. Eh. God damn it, get on the stairs. Why is it so difficult for you to get on the stairs? Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it this out. This one? I don't think it's this one, but I'm checking in just in case. I guess not. I disable this. How the fuck? Do I talk to him? Oh, what? Okay. Just glitched into it. It, it just tells me to go upstairs. I hate maps like this. Compass. Didn't like it in Skyrim, I don't like it in this. Now let's talk to her. There were two up here. Can't get in there, of course. Hey, you turn off the power for me. Uh... How do I do anything? I can't- it doesn't even tell me what this is. Something down here. I think. I'm so confused. Talk to this guy, isn't it? No. Ah, uh, god damn it! Oh, nope. No, I'm so confused. Oh, wait. Where the fuck is this? God damn it. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Why do I suck at this? That scanning. This panel has been tampered with. Send the data to Raj. Yes, Pathfinder. Is that it? Just still another one to check. Uh doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a... Uh, 
Another panel to check. Yeah. It does not seem like there's another panel to check, so I guess that was it. I'll go ahead and do these. These other ones. Okay. 